like the proverbial mustard seed. The growth of Siva Valley International School, Kaba, is indeed remarkable. Now a household name, the school continues to set the pace in moral and academic excellence. Another memorable chapter was added to the history of the college on 30th July as the school held its second graduation ceremony. It was a day for parents and other stakeholders to join students of the college in the glorious celebration. Parents and guests in their praise of the school lauded the management for setting a high standard which they believe is responsible for the recent performances of the students in Wayek and other external examinations. I say that, uh, I've been very much impressed by the achievements that the school has recorded even within this year. Uh, we have observed that uh, the students and the parents have tried the payment of school fees. That will be very impressive. But we want you to do better. Because whatever is good deserves a lot of uh, money. To us, this, is, this school is one of the best in the country by whatever standards. So we want to enjoy you to please pay up your school fees. Uh, I am pleased to note that in your WAEC uh, examination for 2021, this school, this Abelo school has recorded not just 70 or 80 or 90, but 100 percent. Please, I want the applause to be more than that. For their cooperation, may God reward your efforts a hundred fold. In the same light, I appreciate you, uh, dear parents, uh, guardians, and well wishers for coming, for taking time off your tight schedule. Great dissipation. It is my prayer that your stay here will be remembered for good, and that God will reward your efforts richly. I guarantee that you will enjoy your stay here as the program is packed feet with interesting activities for your entertainment. We are sure also that we will not rest on our hearts to sustain the academic and moral successes currently being enjoyed by the college. However, to achieve this one task, we count on your, your usual understanding and cooperation. 
It was a ceremony garnished with choreography, cultural dances and other forms of entertainment from the students. Woke up on Sunday morning, told my daddy I'm leaving home, going off to the city tomorrow, even though I don't know where to go. Cause life in the city is unbelievable You think I've broken all your trust a little while And you may never find your way And I said, I know I could get lost I know I could get lost I know I could get broken
few prefects were sworn in, as awards were also given to students who had distinguished themselves morally and academically. The social prefect is Osano Amesi. He shall always come to failure in Jesus' name. Amen. Concerning this student, Lord, let them be highly elevated in Jesus' name. Amen. May God satisfy your wants in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help you in every of your undertakings in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. The principal and the students for their support. And once also appreciate, who this is the president wants to appreciate the vice principal for his definite support because they always come there to check on us anytime we are doing the practicals. We say thank you, sir. And we also want to appreciate the graduates for their support because they. That one encouraging us and giving us the adequate support anytime we are down and we help us. We say thank you. Now it's time to first take so we invite the board of governors. Well, when they walk out and dance. Okay. Okay, look at Okay, look at Okay, look at it. Okay, look Okay, look at Okay, Okay, Whenever you go, wherever you are, 
you will receive a divine favor from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. We have mercy from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, Master, I pray. Amen. Amen. Today, <laughs> One of the directors and the no parents. My name is Opale Pleza Adegui, and I'm the outgoing head here at Siwa Bank International Club. On behalf of my classmates and I, would like to welcome you for all coming to celebrate with us. The graduating class of 1551 should be 1552. It is an honor to stand before you all today, not just as a student of this prestigious city, there, but as a graduating head girl of this class 2022. Firstly, my thanks goes to the Almighty God who has kept us throughout our years in Silver Valley College. I also give total appreciation to the teachers for their positive impact in our lives and to be where we are today. To the non teaching staff, the matron who yields at us to do the right thing. May God grant to you your heart desires in Jesus' name. Yeah. Silver Valley has actually made good impact in my lifestyle and our lifestyle. It is quite unbelievable to say to this lovely school a goodbye. I will forever remember you, most especially my classmates and juniors, for the positive impact which made our stay in the college a memorable one. To the level principal, it's Ade Bija AB. Thanks for your word of encouragement. May God honor you, sir. Amen. Amen. To the manager who has ensured the safekeeping of the school, I thank you. It has been an amazing journey and one my fellow class of 2021 to 2022 will most likely not forget. We are a class of 2021 to 2022, not just because we started our way past every year, but because we put in hard work and effort to get to where we are today. Not, we have not gotten to where we are without the help of our friends, family and teachers. It's not all about where you look good or fit in a school. It's about the legacy you leave behind once you graduate. Dr. Susie once said, you are out to great places today. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. <laughs> to the students, who keep on to, to the students, keep on the good work. The sky is your starting point. I wish to advise you to avoid any form of distraction, no matter how. As you start your journey, the first thing to do is to throw away the store bottom map and start to draw your own. I accepted the post which was given to me with the zeal to come out of the unique leadership role, and God helped me to do so. In a very special way, kindly permits me to use this medium to appreciate the efforts of our parents who work tirelessly to sponsor our education. May the Almighty God bless you. Amen. Six years in school may not be easy. Many of us have caused to our problems behind the yellow and brown uniform as we walk through the doors of the school every morning. But graduation is a time of unity for each and every one of us to come together and give ourselves the path of the path which we deserve and also cherishing the good memories and lessons what we enjoyed while in college. And we know time is limited. So don't waste your time loving someone else's life. Don't be tried by the dogma, which means the law of results of others' thinking. Don't let the noise of others draw out your inner voice. I want the many students of this noble school to know that the time we all spent together will forever remain fresh in my memory. For our cares, to crown this all, Come is all, my position will be incomplete if I fail to recognize the capability of the proprietor in the name of engineer Mr. Alor Maiza Ekios for providing a wonderful college and also making the graduation a huge success. And once again, I love you all. All in Silver Valley International College. Thank you.
Lord Almighty, the Lord of our Savior, too, over these six years, Johnny. It is not easy. Please, go ahead, spread them. My prayers should be put there to give it to us. And all of our well wishers should please join them. Staff, students, and parents share their thoughts. We need all these three things to be able to make the right ones so that the will of God, the, the, the destiny that God has planned for your life will be the one that will be achieved with ease. Number one, you need God. So in all your getting, 
Know your desire. Make sure you always have it, have it at the back of your mind that God should be number one to guide you. And what do you need about that is that you care. God is love. So whatever you want to do, the love of God and the fear of God should be in it. That guides you. And with that, you can be sure. You can be anything that you desire according to the grace of God that he has given you. Then the second thing which you have also mentioned, highlighted in your drama, is the parents. Uh, with all our experiences and what we have seen around, I must confess to us, even to the extent of our nation, the major challenge we have, which is really bedeviling the country, is because the home is not settled. The family are not there. The parents are not doing enough. Many parents, the only thing they care about is just money. It's not only the money. We must give attention. And then, in the family, we must ensure that we allow love to rule. And the parents should not be partial in their love towards their children. Like we have the account in the Bible about the family of Isaac. Uh, the, family of Isaac. the parents, the father loved Esau. The mother loved Jacob. And as a result of that, we have problems. And even till today, we still have effects in our generation. So it is very important. Love your children alive. Don't discriminate. Don't have preferential treatment. That is for us, the parent. And we should give attention and time, not only money. We must be there. We check up on them. I have a story about a young man who was sent to, who was opportunity to have admission to University of Department to study uh, medicine. On getting to school, he joined, he was unlucky to join the bank gang. Eventually, when he got to him, thinking that he would be able to talk to the parents to help him out, they were not there to ask, to give him attention. Eventually, he went into, deep, deep into the error. At the end, he was sentenced to imprisonment. Among his gang, one of them was the one who killed his mother. The father too suffered stroke, but eventually, thank God for the father, he repented, and call for the young man, he blessed him that he had made a mistake. He don't want he doesn't want him to repeat this mistake he had made. So that it will not become a lineage problem. And he blessed him. That was how the man became free. And so we parents we should do our part. And uh, the other one which is very germane for the student is attitude. Attitude. Our attitude must be right in anything we are doing. Once there is wrong attitude, there will always be wrong results. And not only for the student, but for all of us, even in the country, we must have right attitude. Our attitude, and coincidentally, in, uh, in uh, alphabet, you know, we have 26 English alphabet. By the time you put the word attitude together, and you use number to number them, and you have it, up, it makes 100 percent. So, there are a lot of quotes I would love to mention. I will mention some. And then, uh, the truth is, attitude makes the difference. If your attitude is right towards your fellow student and your teacher and your parent, you can be sure nothing will limit you. Because you will always do the right thing. And when your attitude is wrong, a wrong attitude is evident when you begin to show some traits of being selfish, self-centered, stubborn, disobedient, all those ones make somebody not to attract favor. But when you are poor, you are, you are the kind of person, even in adversity, you are calm, cool, and collected. You pay attention to detail. You do things that are supposed to be done at the right time. It makes it easy for you to be able to move on in life. I, have, uh, I knew of two people that I would have loved to mention. There was a particular man of God in this country. When he was young, things were not that good for him. But at a point, he made up his mind that he was going to change. When he was in school, he would not pay attention. He would be sitting at the back, he would not write notes. He would be playing. The only thing he enjoys is playing and sleeping. And then, but a, a year came. It was, that was a year to his final year. He made up his mind that he was going to change. And lo and behold, at the end of that final year, he was one of the best students in his own set. Eventually, he went to university. He studied mathematics. He had first class. And today, he's going every year touching lives because God has informed him. So we need God and then we need right attitude. Then there was that take, yeah, another man's story that I had recently. That one, he made error. He attacked somebody at the gunpoint. He took away the man's money. That happened in the U.S. And eventually he was sentenced to 13 years imprisonment. But lo and behold, 
the police made mistake. They didn't put him in jail. He was a free man. Then he made up his mind to change his attitude. He, 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 he married, he gave back the four children, he was able to raise company, and he was doing well. On the day when he was supposed to be released from the jail, that was when they discovered that he was not in jail. They went after him and they arrested him. But because he has changed himself, he has changed his attitude, the community where he was living, they rose up for him and they campaigned for him that he must not be put in jail. This man has changed. He's no longer, he's no longer the wicked person he used to be. And eventually, after about a year, he was freed. And that is the power of right attitude. It can transform anyone's life. As parents, as children, as adults, as young people, all of us with right attitude, our country is going to be great again. And God will help all of us. Thank you very much. Well, I bless the name of the Lord. I started with this school as an ordinary teacher, but today I am the vice principal, and I've been the vice principal for the past uh, four years. Uh, it's not been easy anyway, but it's been so interesting being one of the members that direct the school. Well, I can say that the school is heading towards the right direction. We aim to be one of the best, if not even the best, in Nigeria and around the world. So being the vice principal academics, uh, our school has been doing so well with these achievements that I will mention. We had the first WAEC last year and we recorded 100%. All of them are now in the university. So, which is one of the uh, great feats that we want to attain. As, as, as the vice pres uh, principal, I also want to say that the school has been able to make its name known in the environment. As far as Kogi State is concerned, we are known and we pray God to take us even far. Uh, the school is, is almost uh, exceeding its capacity. Looking at the number of students that we have now and looking at uh, the parents' comments, they are all good comments. This far, which I can say that the school has really achieved a lot and we pray God to help us to achieve more. It's so nice being a SST graduating now. And I remember those days when I was in Jason. Like all those all my seniors then when we went for their valedictory service. So I just used to look at them that there, there's one time now that my own team come. So and I'm very happy now that I'm at the, I'm doing it. I'm doing I'm celebrating my sixth graduation. It is a very joyful day and successful. We thank everyone who came for our graduation. Uh, we actually never expected this much since it was a rush for us, but still made it wonderful for us and it's a very wonderful day and we appreciate this. Okay, I'm so excited that today is my graduation and I've been waiting for this day since, like, I don't even know, so I'm so happy. Yeah, okay, I'm really excited about today and I really thank God for what he has done for me from Jesus to his theory. I can't appreciate him, you know, but I am also happy because everyone here is like, I'm, everything is just emotional for me because I'm so sad I'm leaving this school and also happy that I'm leaving my secondary school, I'm going to Lee level. Thank you so much. That is, I appreciate God, I appreciate all my teachers all right. and all those people that have been part of my life. And my mom and my dad, everybody, my friends, I love them all. And it's a wonderful day. Thank God for everything you have done for me since the beginning. When I entered this school, it's just, it was just, it was stressful, but when I got to senior class was it's now becoming more easy for me to adapt to the system. And I thank God for everything. I've been in this school since um, SS1 and I've given me the grace to scale through to this point in my life. And also, 
and giving me and he has given me the grace to be able to hold the post of being the head girl of this prestigious city that this beautiful college and I thank God for his grace. Like as for this occasion it has been one of my greatest achievements because I've always wished to also be like dressed in this way and an FSC student. And even today, as I had my exam, I made sure that I did everything like in time, so I should just meet up with the education and everything happened as planned.